Hi everybody, it's Michelle here again with Birth You Hoover. Here at Birth You Hoover, I am a full spectrum plant-based holistic doula and an advocate for all things safe, natural, and effective. Here on this channel, we discuss all things birth, pregnancy, and womb health related. So if you like what you hear, you love the content of the channel, please be sure to subscribe. Um, today we're going to be talking about uh, delayed cord clamping. Um, this is the idea of birthing your baby, um, and leaving the, uh, placenta cord attached to your baby, um, and the placenta attached, um, until it stops pulsing, um, or for maybe a half an hour. So, the common practice in Western society and over here in America is to, um, you know, baby comes out and then... We're rushing to cut cord and wipe the baby down and, um, you know, do all the looking and the testing and making sure and rubbing the baby and making sure they cry and all of that other stuff. Um, that is not ideal to strip the baby of their uh, life force, basically. Their entire um, lives in utero, their entire lives in your, um, in your belly uh, was spent getting everything that they needed from this placenta. Um, this placenta provided um, blood and oxygen and iron and minerals and stem cells and um, all of the different things that the baby needs to uh, thrive and survive. So when we, you know, when we look at having the baby and then stripping the baby away from the thing that it has been attached to this entire time, we start to see issues arise. So... Um, I'm an advocate for leaving the uh, placenta on as long as possible because, like I said before, it provides um, the stem cells. Uh, one third, around about one third of your baby's blood is still in the placenta when the, uh, you birth the baby and when you birth the afterbirth, um, which is the placenta. Um, and that's about 30-40% of the baby's blood. It's still left in that organ. Um self-sustaining organ by the way uh that has you know been attached to your baby this entire time so when we look at you know uh babies who are born and then they uh have anemia um a low blood iron um they have vitamin k deficiency they have um hard time transitioning the lungs are not fully capable of taking in the proper air and they need to go on oxygen. All of those things can uh, link back to uh, being taken away from your placenta so quickly. Now, keep in mind this information is not intended as medical advice on this channel, and this is all strictly informational um, and knowledge that needs to be researched and um, thoroughly looked at. Um, I'm just giving uh, my opinion, my experience, uh, the things that I have been researching, the things that I have been reading. Um, there's so much evidence-based um, articles out there. There is a lot of information that you can go and look at about the late cord clamping. Um, and it's actually starting to become actually more popular over here in the States um, as it is known to be so beneficial for the baby's brain development. It's so beneficial for allowing the baby to be thriving, having the proper amount of blood, the proper amount of, um, you know, fluid um, to balance all of the hormones, all of the minerals, and all of that stuff. And I also even have a theory. This is just a theory, so don't quote me on this. It's just something that I want to touch bases on. Um, throw it out there and maybe piggyback off of um, other people's ideas, of other people's understanding of this. So we find a lot of times that... Um, Babies are born and they um, are vitamin K deficient. So uh, babies have, may have been born in some kind of trauma um, or the mom maybe accidentally closed her legs, uh, whatever the case may be, and then we find internal bleeding. Um, I, in my mind, this is because obviously the blood is not clotting properly um, and all of those different things. But in my mind, when I think about it and I say, hmm, you know, Babies are being taken away from their placentas very quickly. Maybe that has something to that has something to do with, um, you know, 
being stripped from their blood supply, uh, their stem cells, their vitamins, and all of those different things that are in the iron, all of those things that are in your placenta, um, it needs to be took it away from them right away. And maybe that is the cause for them not being able to uh, deal with the pretty much natural traumas that come with being brought earthside. So I think that's just the theory um, that we need to look into. We need to um, think and use, you know, logic and just kind of try to understand from, you know, an open mind, an open perspective. Um, and that's pretty much like why I advocate for uh delayed core clamping because it is super super beneficial and it also helps your baby transition better um this is something the energy that they were attached to the entire time that they were in your body um imagine having a teddy bear for 20 years and then that you know that was special to you and someone gave to you and then it just disappears or it someone the house burns down and you no longer have it you have a hard time you know accepting that you, you have a hard time separating yourself from that personal thing that was given to you that you love so much and that helped you and that you know provided you with the things that you needed um comfort you know food whatever and that's kind of like the same concept when we're looking at um the placenta uh, attachment to the baby so I think it's it's better for transitioning um, it's better for overall health and this is to say you know babies who are born healthy and thriving obviously there's a baby who was born who needs emergency care um, come out not breathing maybe come out uh, you know with some sort of uh, ailment that needs uh, emergency care yeah, that's a little bit different because, you know, the baby has to be moved and uh, interventions have to be done. But for the most part of you, are, uh, if the baby is born healthy and thriving, then it is so much more beneficial and so very much necessary to keep your baby attached to that placenta for as long as possible. Again, thank you guys for coming and tuning in and watching the videos. I hope you find something useful. I hope you take away something from them. Um, if you um, have questions or topics that you would like to uh, hear that I haven't already spoke about, please uh, email me at birthyhoover at gmail.com. Um, and thank you guys again for uh, coming and tuning in. Like, subscribe, click on the channel, share it, and I will see you guys for the next video. Peace and pregnancies, Dust.